So in this question, we have to find the values of k again, k again, for which the equation x square plus 5kx plus 16 equals 0 has no real roots, no real roots. So you know it by now for a quadratic equation, ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. If d is less than 0, then it's a, it is sufficient for no real roots, right? no real roots and what is d guys d is b square minus 4 ac this is the condition so let us start with it so hence what is b if you if you write if you see here a is equal to 1 clearly if you match this is a here and what is a here 1 right 5k happens to be the b so 5k and c is clearly 16 right now what? Let's do this b square. So b square is 5k square minus 4 times 1 times c that is 16. This must be less than 0. 5k square is 25k square right and this is 64 minus 64 is less than 0 right. So how to find the values of k? So 25k square must be less than 64 or 5k whole squared must be less than 8 squared correct now how to solve such kind of inequalities okay so 5k is less than 8 square so uh, two possibilities 5k 5k can be negative or 5k can be you know positive understand this 5k has we don't have any restrict restriction on k so k can be let us say k is two cases case one now k can be less than 0 that is negative right or k second case could be k is greater than 0 two possibilities are there in that case what will happen 5 5k will be less than 8 in both the cases 5k has to be um, you know uh, less than 5k square rather should be less than 8 right so what if so uh, how to find such, uh, you know, basically how to solve such inequalities. It is at the end of the day, it is an inequality. So how to find such inequality is this way. So hence what you write is this 5k whole square minus 8 square is less than 0. Okay. So hence 5k minus 8 and 5k plus 8 should be less than 0. Right should be less than 0 that means there are two factors here and the product of two factor is less than 0 that means if 5k minus 8 is less than 0 then 5k plus 8 must be greater than 0. So if you see we have two inequalities here that is if I consider 5k minus 8 to be less than 0 then 5k plus 8 must be greater than 0 then only the product of these two factors will be less than 0. Example, if I have, let's say, 6 and minus 8, if I, you know, multiply them, then only the product is less than 0, isn't it? Otherwise, if both are negative and both are positive, then the product is always greater than 0. For example, minus 2 into minus 2 is 4, which is greater than 0. Similarly, 2 into 2 is 4, which is again greater than 0. So hence, if something is, you know, both the products, both the factors are positive or both the factors are negative, then the product is positive. Otherwise, if one is positive, one is negative, the product is negative. So hence, by that logic, 5, if 5k minus 8 is less than 0, then 5k plus 8 is greater than 0. Then you might have a question, then why am I considering, how do I know that this term or this factor is less than 0 and this is more than 0? I am saying I don't know we we have this you know first case in the second case what I'll do is I'll take this as positive and this as negative and we'll explore all the possibilities mathematics is all about exploring the possibilities so let's explore this one first so hence if this is the if this is the case so hence I'm considering it case one then you will get 5k is less than 8 or k is less than 8 upon 5 okay and if you solve this you will get k should be greater than minus 8 upon 5 so hence clearly the value of k will be minus 8 by 5 less than k less than 8 by 5 isn't it that means k must be a value between minus 8 by 5 and plus 8 by 5 this is where so any k so for example 0 1 minus 1 if all these values 1.1 1 .1, all these value which lie between minus 8 by 5 
and um, you know so uh, and a, um, uh, 8 by 5 those values will be you know the values of k for which the given equation will not have real roots right so k could be anything between minus 8 by 5 and 8 by 5 so infinitely many possible values of k are there now what if case 2 the other way around case 2 is 5k minus 8 is greater than 0 and 5k plus 8 is less than 0 this could be another possibility so from here you'll get k is greater than 8 by 5 and k is less than minus 8 by 5 now guys there exists no such k no such k where both of them will be together it's like it's like saying some a number which is greater than 2 as well as less than 2 or uh, greater than 2 uh, let's say num a number greater than 2 so and a number greater than minus 2 can there be a number which is both greater than 2 as well as minus and less than minus 2 not possible similarly there will not be any number which is greater than 8 by 5 and simultaneously less than minus 8 by 5 so this is an impossible case so not possible so i can write this is not possible so hence only one case is possible and that is case number one and in that case we are getting this particular inequality so any value of k between minus 8 by 5 and 8 by 5 will satisfy uh, the condition that this given equation is having no real roots is that fine so that's the uh, solution to the problem